Yeah, ask a silly in shiny as cat manjane. Madam being smooth, some of the chibas are more keeping done. Manje, I got the madam when I came to my lunch. Mamma, 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 you know, the title of the part 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 Yes, I'm just put it back again. Is it the place? But more than just all the man, so he should be not not in need. A man that talent. Yeah. When he caught you, he learned. Gab cool, isn't it? Yeah. Man, just say that cookie. Don't want to cool down. Come on, just say stupid. Yeah. 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 Eh, Manje besiza magutsi nzi pili beko na yabo. Mara ma otro pang angsata bang gutsi zako nuko kuga ma otro. Sawa na ma uwa sawa no tena kato sawa round. Niza wa round ya. Benga bang alion to gutsi niza wa round. Wananda ba ni sawanka ni zofaga na pads ya bo. Ube school ya. At least if they can come, it will be great. So I and the Kunkulu Bagashal and Alabantonabas Toad never saw Antonabas Toad Bridge. 
So, no, and Mutagupi <laughs> 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 Good morning, I'm Matapelo Molloy. The Department of Mineral Resources and Energy says South Africa's reputation among foreign investors is under threat due to the country's ongoing illegal mining crisis. The department has acknowledged its stagnant approach in clamping down on criminal syndicates and the negative implications on the country. This emerged on the second day of the oversight visits to illegal mining hotspots in Gauteng. Deputy Director General Zeli Somakubela says the illicit industry could deter much needed foreign investment. We are facing a challenge of, uh, of potential of being grey listed as a country. Now, grey listing results from uh, perceived uncontrolled prevalence of uh, illicit uh, financial flows uh, that can then have an impact on uh, you know, our, our reputation as a country. Meanwhile, residents in the West Rand have called for more policing and the formalization of the small-scale mining sector. Police believe more people will be arrested for implicating the riots that engulfed parts of the country last year. The police announced the arrest of 22 suspects last night who are expected to appear at the Durban Central Magistrate Court today. They face charges ranging from conspiracy to commit public violence, incitement to commit public violence, and incitement to commit arson. More than 350 people were killed in the 2021 July unrest, mainly in Guadalajara and in Gauteng. The anarchy was in part triggered by the arrest of former President Jacob Zuma, who was in contempt of a court order. Hope's spokesperson Tandi Bambo says the investigation is not done. Joint police teams were mobilized to execute simultaneous arrests in various areas so as to secure court attendance of persons of interest spread out in KwaZulu Natal, Gauteng, Northwest, Free State, Western Cape, and Northern Cape provinces. Staying at the courts, the pre trial hearing of alleged parliament arsonist is set to get underway in the Western Cape High Court today. 49 year old Zandi Lemate is accused of starting the fire that gutted the National Assembly building on the 2nd of January. Parts of the old assembly chamber were also destroyed in the blaze. Kevin Brandt has more. Zandile Mafe has been charged with arson, terrorism, theft, and housebreaking. He's been behind bars since his arrest on the 2nd of January, having made several court appearances and also failing to secure bail. 
state says it will prove mafia engaged in terrorist activity by setting parliament alight. Prosecutors argue once he set the building alight, he exited the old assembly chamber through a window with various stolen items including coffee, spices, official parliamentary stamps, crockery, a toaster and a sling bag containing personal items. Defense maintains mafia's innocence and has vowed to test the strength of the state's case when the trial gets underway. Run, Outgoing Guazulu Natal Education NEC Guazim Shengu says he prides himself for the stability he brought to the department during his term as he now leaves the department. Shengu was withdrawn from serving as an NEC as newly elected Premier Nomo Sadube Nobe reshuffled her cabinet yesterday. Shengu is one of the three MECs who were removed from the cabinet along with Jomo Sibiya and Shengi Wema Bimbela. Nandamabaso reports. Now former KZN Education MEC Kwasim Shengu says residents should be the ones who judge his performance as an MEC. He was removed from cabinet by the new premier as new members, members were brought in. And as he exits, he told Eyewitness News that one of his best achievements yes. was the stability he brought during his term. When asked about how he feels about being removed from he said he will continue serving as a in this moment in the traffic in Midrand, we still see that accident on the N1 South just before Sandrand Avenue. So now you can check is it does a connaissance And if you're driving in the area, you still see that accident on yeah. the N12 West before the Gilulis in the chain. And then now you're going in the battling in Japanese and you're in the N12 West in Bell Road. So Fine weather conditions in Calgary today, temperatures yeah, peaking my. at highs of around 25 and 26 degrees. The top story in Ivan yeah. News this hour, yeah. the Department of Renewable Resources and Energy says South Africa's yeah. reputation yeah. among foreign yeah. investors yeah. is under threat yeah. due to the country's ongoing yeah. 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 Yeah.
having taken at least I'm um, not a uh, of when I'm for lack of investigation or it was just a new reaction to the fact that we are looking for something to happen for so long. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> completely only now we're hearing that 20 alleged instigators have been arrested for the 2021 uh, July unrest uh, 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 actually yeah, but maybe now I sell again as a kitchen. Just put you and in the Baban Tabatin is dependent. Request as a shame of the bed. Some of these allegations yeah. mentioned by the Democratic Alliance could be considered by existing parliamentary structures, including the Joint Standing Committee on Intelligence. We'll speak to the DA there and say about this. I'm a good and maybe ten room. I'm a touch up lap in two years. Considering this particular investigation. Yeah. 
the new tender has been issued for the management of e-tolls where there is still no clarity on the future of the system. And what's worrying them in particular is that that announcement is only going to be made in October. Uh, uh, and already this tender has been advertised with a, uh, uh, a timeline and a date on it. What could this possibly mean? And does it mean government decision on uh, the e-tolls uh, and they're not telling us? Um, what, what does it say to you? But also, if you have been one of those that you're talking about this, um, you're abiding citizens, so to speak, um, and you're talking about you know, the user page no, no principle, is something that is, 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 is here to stay, so you put the tag, uh, or you have been paying, uh, when you hear the possibility of um, uh, this system not being successful, do you feel that um, you um, you're too haste, are you regretful of your decision? What do you think you get there by the thing? Give us a shout. Are you paying? Were you paying? Uh, you paid a little bit and you're regretting it now. Where are you sitting on that? 011 1702. We can take your thoughts on that. Let me also hear of the massive digitization program that is uh, taking place at Home Affairs, uh, which could uh, possibly see um, uh, close to what is it, the 350 million civic paper records? Related to birth, marriages, deaths, and I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to be able to do that. i in going to be able to do that. I'm going to be able to do that. i uh, you can uh, give us your thoughts on that as well. Or otherwise, anything else that's on your mind uh, it goes uh, this morning uh, on the open line. Let's go to Phosphorus. It's it. Okay, how's Phosphorus this morning? Ah, no, I'm not going to do it. 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 I know. I know. I know. That's a good one. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, it was so unreal. Eh? I remember my 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 my, my, my mother-in-law. Uh, she stays in Spain, so she she sent um, pictures of what was going on in there. It is unreal. Yeah, and as we are saying, people didn't go right to those jobs. They lost that from So my my, my question uh, to the public is actually here. You want to know as a public, among those investigators that are arrested, is one particular reason to be there and to design Zuma. I remember to design Zuma saying to people, circulating messages about this is for the truth. Is it to design or to do that you're talking, you're talking about? To design. To design yeah. himself. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm not sure, I'm not sure about, about those people, yeah? Yeah, to design, there was a message that circulating, he said to us, but this is for the truth. My and then goodness. Gizem was going to express in Gizem to know what my mind, you know yeah. what happened, he was apparently flown with him. Gizem was arrested though, but I, I don't think they had enough uh, evidence to keep him locked up. Yeah. So they brought him in for a little yeah. bit and then, and then they, they, they let him out again. Yeah, if Gopso can also tell us what really no, happened in the case of the Gizem, what was the final decision, what happened, what did they found that? What evidence did they lack? Because we lost a lot.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 